Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a very uh, beautiful and tricky trap in the opening that um, uh, I think Eric Rosen published a video about it um, quite recently, a couple of weeks or months back, but um, I just want to share it with you guys. In case you haven't seen that video, I'll uh, put a link to that in the description below, but um, it goes as follows. So it's with a uh, trick with black. So white has to play d4 and you'll play e5. White will take and you will play bishop to c5. White here de develops a knight, d6. Pawn takes, knight to e7, giving up a piece. Uh, they can take either way, it doesn't matter. If pawn takes knight, bishop takes f2 check. And the king uh, has no squares, except to take the bishop, and the queen is lost. Bam. The game's over. You take this, you have, they have like a piece and two pawns for, for the, for the thing, I think. How much, is it a piece and a pawn? Uh, let's count. Um, no, they have two pieces, right? Because you also sacked the bishop, I forgot. Two pieces and two pawns. No, one pawn. Sorry, I'm not very good at counting. <laughs> but their bishop's hanging, your queen's in there, the bishop gets out, you take the, the pawn and um, bring your rook, and you win. That's generally what happens. Um, I have lost a single game after I had a successful trap, but that's because I like hung my queen. But other than that, this is a pretty nice trap. It works a lot because as, as I'm now I think a lot of people have seen the video that Eric Ros Rosen posted, but otherwise it's a pretty nice uh, video uh, or a, a pretty nice trap rather. Um, I if you, and if you want to not fall into this trap, if someone is playing this here in this position, I um, suggest that you guys play d7 check. So now they'll have to develop one of their pieces to this d7 square, which blocks. So if they develop their bishop here. That kind of makes, um, that's not the best square to put their bishop. They wanted to put it on g4 or f5 or even e6. So that that's um, bad for them. And then you can just, you know, play um, uh, like really solid like e6 or bishop here and e6. And then bring your, your stuff out and castle and you'll be fine. And I think, and then you'll just be up a pawn or up two pawns. I forget uh, which one because I'm not good at counting as I previously mentioned. But uh I think it's an excellent trap, um, especially at the lower level. Uh, people who haven't seen the video will fall for this regularly, and um, I suggest you guys try it in your games. And with that, I will uh, uh, I will wish you a good day, and uh, see you in the next video.